Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm actually going to be doing a little, uh, it's like a short kind of info video on my must have eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes. This one was actually requested by one of you guys and I thought it was such a great idea. I haven't done this video before and I thought it would be really helpful and informative for you guys. I know if I was in your position I wouldn't know what like eyeshadows or eyeshadow palettes to get, like what are good, what ones is just like not worth your money, things like that. So without further ado let's get into the video. So I've actually gone through a fair few uh, different palettes and eyeshadows and things like that in my time. Uh, I'm a big fan of like colourful makeup looks, like colourful eyeshadows, colourful looks, but for an everyday I do kind of just use little bits like maybe a bronzer, maybe shimmery eyeshadow and that's it. Um, but I did want to kind of give you guys a little bit of like tips on like what palettes to get if you are, like for me, what ones I use the most, like what I actually think is worth investing your money in and why like for the reasons like you might want to purchase them if that makes sense anyways I'll start with my single eyeshadow so I only have a few of these just because I feel like the specific colors that I do use out of these um, that I don't really find in many other palettes I mean a few of these I've gotten I can find like this Neptune shade from um, Makeup Geek it's just like a royal blue I also have a similar one from Sugar Pill, which is basically the same shade, just a different brand. And I find these in a lot of other eyeshadow palettes, so I don't think this one per se is worth um, buying if you do just get a bulk eyeshadow palette with a lot of different colours. However, like Makeup Geek's foiled eyeshadows, I I couldn't recommend more. Like honestly, I use um, Pegasus, which is this beautiful, uh, like, what do you call it, like a teal, aqua blue, even turquoise blue actually. I mean, as you guys can see, I have hit pan on this eyeshadow right here. I love it. I use it in so many different looks, even for like a summer basic look. Like if I want just like a neutral cut crease or a neutral smoky eye, and then I'll just chuck a bit of Pegasus in the inner corner, you're good to go. And it's so stunning. It really draws attention to the eyes and it's so easy. So I definitely do recommend for your collection picking up this bad boy right here. One that I used to use a lot and I've also hit pan on from Makeup Geek again. This is Shimmer Shimmer. This bad boy as well I used so much in the past, especially for like a brow bone in, in, and inner corner highlight. I just find it's a very simple kind of champagne uh, pinky shade and it looks really, really pretty um, on all eye colours. Um, you can even use it if you're quite pale, if you're quite a light skin girl or guy this is also perfect for like a face highlight which i did used to use more of course during winter than summer but i did find it was a little bit too light for my skin tone um but yeah you can use it as like a face highlight as well and i just love it for like a simple look i even just used to use it like all over the lid bit of bronzer through the crease and i was good to go like this is a very all-rounder kind of look um, eyeshadow that can be used in all types of looks so I do like this one too so as you guys can see I have a couple matte whites sorry I have a couple whites in here one is Ice Queen from Makeup Geek it's like a shimmery satin kind of shadow and this is a matte white this is White Lies from Makeup Geek I actually use White Lies a fair bit just because um, in a lot of my eyeshadow palettes they don't actually come with like a matte white eyeshadow which is really weird I'm sure you can get them in a few different eyeshadow palettes, but a lot of the ones that I have, it's like a shimmery champagne shade or shimmery gold. Like, there's a subtle golden tint to it. Like, there's no matte white. So I do love this one. As you guys can see, I've used it a fair bit. I've hit pan on this one, too. Um, and I just use it to basically just, like, highlight my brow bone if I want something more matte. Highlight my inner corner if I want something more matte. Maybe use it all over the lid in a kind of matte cut crease, like... Um, just kind of simple looks, nothing too crazy. Okie dokie, I actually have this one from Morphe. This is called Sapphire. Um, it's such a stunning, just beautiful kind of like royal blue, sapphire blue, really the name just sums it up. It's like gorgeous, very shimmery, uh, deep, like I feel like it's like an ocean blue. It reminds me of the ocean, it is such, such a stunning eyeshadow honestly it is such a unique shadow I have never seen this kind of color or this shadow 
in any of the eye palette eyeshadow palettes that I have or have seen or looked to purchase and it's perfect for like a deep blue smoky eye sapphire smoky eye or even if I want to create more of like an ocean toned look this is just the perfect the perfect shadow and a little goes a long way you don't need a lot of this shadow it's very very pigmented okie dokie so another foiled eyeshadow which is definitely in my top top eyeshadow uh most used like top three eyeshadows that I really really love to use is this beautiful like black light duo chromed like foiled eyeshadow so this one actually has like different reflex to it so the other foiled eyeshadow I showed you Pegasus is just the blue this has reflex of um the purple there's like turquoisey blue reflex I think even silver reflex tells you on their website I will leave that link down below like the link to the eyeshadows but this one honestly is the most unique eyeshadow like I thought sapphire was unique this one is the most unique eyeshadow honestly it is so 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 stunning I love this color so much I love um, a shimmery purple with blue reflex to it and it's just so handy to just grab you can take it away with you because it is single eyeshadow. That's why I do like single eyeshadows in a sense that you can put them in just like a little Z palette um, like this and you can have your own selection. It's so easy to have. Like they're easier to kind of store as well. You can have your own little personalized collection. But yeah, I do love this eyeshadow by the way. Just like, God, she's such a beaut. Such a beaut. So another one that I do use is again from Makeup Geek. I love their shadows so much. They're just so pigmented and so creamy to work with. It's just like perfect. But I do love Poolside. So this is more of like a satin shadow. It's not as intense as Pegasus, which is a foiled eyeshadow. This one is satin. So it has a little bit of shimmer. Um, very subtle. It's not matte, just like that satiny shade. And I do use this for more subtle looks, I guess. Or even as like a transition shade. So when I'm creating like quite colourful looks and I need something to transition through the crease into a blue, I'll use Poolside. Just because it's so easy to work with. It's that perfect middle shade. Even if I don't want something as intense as Pegasus on my inner corner, I will use Poolside sometimes as like a little bit of a pop on that inner corner and it's not so ba -boom. But yeah, I do quite like this one. I used to use it actually a fair bit in my early makeup days. Just like I said, as like a subtle kind of transition subtle bit of color on the eye nothing too crazy but now like worked into like my foiled eyeshadows i'm like step aside i need the intensity but yeah if you guys are more in your beginner stages definitely do recommend this shadow um it's just more wearable it's very um versatile you can use it in a lot of different things like looks and things because it's a good middle shade to use in the transition to blend into like a deeper uh, blue so that's kind of it for the uh, single eyeshadows like I have a few others in there um, but like I said like they're not really most needed eyeshadows like for me like I don't really use them as much anymore I may have used them a bit more in the past but I don't really use them that much anymore so for me I love the original Jaclyn Hill palette that she collaborated with Morphe I just think it has everything you need your more wearable pinks you've got your neutral brown tones very warm very warm tones too like for me I'm definitely more of a warm kind of gal like I like my warm tones and it's also got a few colors in here as you guys can see there's a few that I've definitely hit pan on yeah I love the pool party shade because it actually had like gold reflex in the blue which I thought was really cool um yeah I just love that it has like even golds and things you've got your matte shades here perfect perfect for a transition color like I honestly probably use these two shades almost on the daily just because they are the perfect transition color for me I just use them through my crease with any look it's just so perfect but yeah it has everything I love to use in this palette and you can create so many different looks with this it's perfect for like I said a daily kind of makeup look or a more extravagant colorful look you've got your different uh, tones here I do love this um, royal blue twerk shade it's not the same as sapphire it's actually a bit more of a royal blue than a deep ocean blue but it is really pretty. I'm not going to talk too much in depth um, with each palette just because I do have a couple that I want to show you guys. I don't want this video to be like too long but I do love this. Definitely recommend it being in your collection just because I use this all the time. She has, cre she has created a new palette, the volume 2 one or something um, but I honestly think the original for me 
um, is the best. I just think it's got everything that you'd need for a daily look, like I said, or if you wanted to step out of your comfort zone and try a few colours, it's got that in there as well. So this one I've used in a fair few of my tutorials, as you guys can see. I honestly love this palette because it's travel size. It's from the brand Folklore Cosmetics, um, and it's their Go Travel Palette Collection. This one is from the Perth one, obviously. As you guys can see, it's like written big letters on the front. Um, they have a few different ones. I do love this one just because it is travel size friendly. Like it's little, it's cute, you can take it um, on the go with you. And it has the perfect shadows for like an everyday look here with your matte brown for the transition. And a few deeper brown tones here if you want to smoke it out a little bit. As well as some bronzy brown coppery tones here which are like shimmer ones, so if you want to um, vamp it up a little bit, then you've got these options as well. They've also got a couple glittery shades. This one's more glitter, the opal one, and then they've got a more shimmery one here. They've got a beautiful royal blue shimmery shade, green, purple, like... They've got some colours to experiment with if you want to make it a little bit more fun and vibrant. But then if you did want to just keep it a little bit more neutral, then you have that option here as well. If you guys are looking for something more travel friendly and convenient, then I recommend this palette because, like I said, it has everything you want or need in the comfort of just a small little thing like this. They do have other travel options if you do want to check out their website. If you're thinking, oh, like, the colours aren't for me or, no, nah, it doesn't have as much as I want. They do have other options for you guys. This is just the Perth one that I thought was more, like, more my type of palette. But like I said, they have different ones for you guys to try, um, try out or have a look at. Okie dokie. So you guys know... For me, like, I've been really getting into my more natural makeup brands. So things that are more, like, natural and organic and actually better for your skin that aren't, isn't, like, full of toxins and things like that. And recently I tried out the Zooey Organics or Organic um, Eyeshadow Palette in Havana. Oh, oh my god, isn't it such a stunning palette? Oh, it's so beautiful. I absolutely love the shimmers like they're all it's all shimmer but they do have a couple other palettes on their website that i think have a couple mattes and things in there this one just is a all kind of metallic eyeshadow palette so this one i love because they are natural eyeshadows so they're good for you they're like actually better for you i wouldn't say they're good but they're better for you so they're not going to do as much harm to your skin and they're just so pigmented like honestly like do you just see how pigmented they are i love that this one the havana has a few like colored tones in it like i said i'm a big color fan i love colorful eyeshadows and i'm just so in like incredibly taken aback like and just so in awe that these are natural eyeshadows and they're so pigmented like they're using natural ingredients and still getting the pigmentation out of it that you would in something more synthetic like to me that is incredible and you've got a couple bronzy tones here which i'll use on the daily i love to use it with a bit of like an um some of my um, bronzer in the crease and then I'll just chuck one of these bad boys on my lid and in a corner just for a bit of something and it's just so wearable so easy it's nice and travel convenient as well so if you just want to take it with you they're nice and small perfect to travel around with like I said there's other eyeshadow palettes with mattes in them if you prefer mattes as well but I do love love this brand okay so this is my ride or die like most used eyeshadow palette ever that I've ever had. You guys will see this one and be like, yeah, I agree. She uses it all the time. Like honestly, especially with my colorful looks, like this palette is everything. And this bad boy is the Pride palette from Chi Chi. Honestly though, like this palette has everything. You've got colors ranging from the pinks into reds up here, oranges, yellows, greens, blues, like it has every color under the sun. Um, It's not so much, like I said, a everyday makeup look kind of thing i mean if you want to do like a soft pink peachy look you could but it doesn't have many browns i mean i think the one that has is the most wearable is this like skin color shade maybe you could use that as a transition but really for me because i'm very much like a colorful makeup look wearer like i prefer these kind of extravagant makeup looks i use this all the time and it's perfect for you guys who are beginning out as well the shadows are really creamy they're super pigmented they're so easy to work with and it has everything you need to just play around and experiment with. It's got shimmers, it's got mattes, it's got satiny shades like this. And it has so many things that you can do with it. Um, the reason why I got it um, originally was because I was looking for something with a lot of different shades that I could just play around with and mix. 
and just um, have you know a bit more access to a bit more color range than my like all my different palettes that I had all these different colors with like it was just too messy I had too many things I just wanted something convenient in one palette that I could just go to all the time and this is it oh. I was looking at the BH Cosmetics um, Brazil palette but this one just had a little bit more of a color range it was coming out at the time I was like thank you TG like this is exactly what I need so I honestly could not recommend this one more like it is everything everything you'll need in one eyeshadow palette color wise so yeah I definitely recommend checking it out let me know if you do guys do get it and like if you want to see more looks just solely working with this palette like no other eyeshadows just with this one let your girl know because I can definitely do that for you but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm going to wrap it up now I just wanted to keep it kind of short and simple I mean I hope it's short and simple and like short and sweet um but i just wanted to kind of show you guys what i love to use um eyeshadows wise like just like my must have um eyeshadows and eyeshadow palettes my recommendations for you guys um let me know what you guys thought as well if you want to see something else along this like along this kind of video line like idea wise like let me know I love when you tell me that your recommendations and what you want to see. I find it so helpful just because sometimes I'm like struggling creativity wise and I want to know what you guys actually want to see rather than something like I just want to do. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's videos. Let me know by giving a big thumbs up because it helps me out and I know what you like to see and what you don't. And leave a comment down below of what you'd like to see next. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.